I start by hooking my finger through my ponio so I can gather all my hair. Once you have your hair in position, grasp your hair from the front and pull your hair through the hole. Keeping one hand on the ponio to keep it close to your head. Now this is going to feel weird, but release your hair. With both hands, squash the ponio. Now we're going to get close because the next step is key to making it stay. Place one thumb under the ponio, about an inch from the end. Press down with the other hand, making a sharp bend. And repeat that on the other side. The sharper the bend, the tighter the hold. If you need it to be a little tighter, give it an extra little squash. Look how sexy and perky this ponytail looks. It's so, so comfortable. Now, if I want a little bit more body at the front of my hair, I simply hold the ponio and tug at the first quarter inch of hair. Not the support hair, the one in here, because that makes for a very baggy pony. So remember, the ponio is designed to not cause tension on the follicle. So that's gonna be, feel weird. It's actually comfortable and that's okay. It feels very different, but to give it a little test, tug it. It's not going anywhere. So out of habit, if you did this, just get it close to your head again and bend it in. It'll get it tight again. Now to remove your ponio, fold it flat and open it wide and just slide it out. No creases, no fuzzies, no hair. So I hope that helped put your ponio on your curly hair. Hey ladies, here's a pro tip. When removing your ponio from your hair, straighten it by using your thumbs and the inside of your forefinger to smooth out the bends and the kinks. Our patented copper design is extremely malleable and using the heat from your hands to smooth out the copper will give your ponio its longest life. Once you've done that, squish it back to flat for easy storage.